Good day class, welcome to class in Raza Secondary School Online class. Just two basic science. Our topic for today is magnetism. Now let's know about magnets. Magnets are found in our homes and offices. Our schools can be found in most places. Magnetism is the ability of iron to attract another iron. Magnetism is a type of force exerted by a magnetic field on other magnets. A magnetic field is the invisible force produced by a magnet which pulls materials such as iron, cobalt or nickel towards itself. Now magnetism, this is the ability of iron to attract another iron. It is a type of force exerted by a magnetic field on other magnets like for example if you try if you bring two magnets to each other you will notice that there is a force between the two magnets this force this force is called mag mag magnet magnetism now lodestone as a natural magnet lodestone is a magnetic rock that comes from the earth Lodestone is a special kind of iron that is called magnetite. It consists of iron 3 oxide Fe2O3. It is also called leading stone. It was used by travelers of wood to give direction to wherever they were traveling to. Now, a magnet lodestone is a natural magnet, like is a magnetic rock that comes from the earth. It is natural. Um, it is a special kind of iron or called magnetite. It consists of iron three oxide. It was used in the old days by travelers to get. It gives them direction to wherever they are traveling. That's why it is called leading stone. Now uh, this is the example of loose stone, the natural magnet used by the travelers in those days. Now laws of magnetism. A magnet has a special quality. It has two ends. One end is called the North Pole and the other end the South Pole. If two magnets are held close to each other, any of the following could happen. If two North Poles or South Poles are held closely together, that is North North or South South, they repel each other. That is if you put the North Pole to the, to the other north pole they will repel or if you put the south pole to the other south pole they will repel but if you put a north pole and a south pole together they attract that's just all the law of magnetism is still little for example if you have two bar magnets if you put two poles together if they repel that means you are putting the same poles together that is the like poles but if they attract that is you are putting the two different poles together, north pole and south pole. Now, the law of magnetism states that light poles repel or light poles attract. Now, this is a north north they repel or south south they repel. But if you put north and south, they will attract as a law of magnetism. Now, magnetic poles. There are two poles in the magnet. If a suspended bar magnet, one if in a suspended bar magnet, one finds out that these are attracted to two special specific points. This is the region or area in which the magnetic force is most concentrated. Now, if you suspend the bar magnet, you notice that new move to two specific points. That's the north pole and the south pole. At uh, this north pole and north south pole, this is where the magnetic force is most concentrated. Magnets only attract at the poles. Lines of force start from the north pole and ends at the south pole. Now, if you look at the diagram, lines of forces will only start from north and uh, to the south, from the north here to the south. So, lines of forces start from the north pole to the South pole. Now, as I said, if you suspend the bar magnet, the nail will be attracted to the poles. Look at the nails here, they are attracted to the south pole, the steel here, 
that are attracted to the north pole. Now, magnetic fields. The field of a force around the magnet is called is known as the magnetic field. Any magnetic material put in the magnetic field is attracted by the shape of the field. Now, the field of force around the magnet, the force that exists around the bar magnet, is known as the magnetic field. You notice that if you put two close magnets together at a point far from the other magnet, you notice that there is no force. But if you move it closer to the magnet, you notice that there is a force around the magnet. This force is known as the magnetic field. It is invisible. Any magnetic material put in the magnetic field is affected by the shape of the field. Now, it, as I said, in every boot, the magnet close to it, you will notice that the magnetic material will either be attracted or repelled because of the magnetic field. Now, magnetic field is a region of space around the magnet where magnetic force is felt. That is just, just a space around the magnet that when you bring any other magnet to it, you will find repulsion or attraction there. Now, that's a, um, a magnetic field is a region of space around the magnet where magnetic force is felt. Now, this, this is the magnetic field around this magnetic magnet, about around the magnets, because these are the fields here. So, if any other magnet is brought into the field, there will either be attraction or repulsion, depending on the pose. Now, care of magnets. Magnets should be cleaned and kept in a special position so that they do not lose their magnetization or neutralize one another. That is, magnets should be kept to, uh, to prevent them from losing their magnetization or neutralize one another. Two bar, two bar magnets should be kept in the north south direction opposite each other. That is, two magnets should be allowed to attract to retain the magnetism. Bar magnets should be kept in between soft iron keepers to retain the magnetism. The mag bar magnet should not be armored in the east to west direction as this will lead to demagnetization. Questions. The first field around the bar magnet is called the dash. The magnetism, like poles, the strength of the magnet is greatest at the... Which of these statements is true about the magnet? It dash A uh, as one pole, as two poles, does not attract iron, attracts wood, attracts insulators. Bar magnets are kept between dash to protect them. A keepers, B plastic, C glass, D wood, E wood. Next question is what is the loose stone? What is the loose stone used for? State the law of magnetism. How many poles does the magnet have? And that name for loose stone is what is the magnetic field? Describe how to care for magnets. Thanks for listening. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can also follow us at www.scholarsadvisorsecondaryschool.com. Stay safe.